Hello everybody, my name is Kemp Luke, and I am back. And today I have for you uh, kind of um, an optimization video for your NetDuma gaming router. And I'm also going to just kind of, if you guys don't know what a NetDuma gaming router is, I'm just going to go through that real quick, but uh, I'm sure most of you guys do. So, let's get to it, let's show it to you. Okay. That's the NetDuma gaming router right there. Now what you're paying for is the software and firmware from NetDuma, not the hardware itself because the hardware they purchased separately. Um, this is the router that they picked because it best serves their needs. Now as you can see, you know, it has, it's pretty standard, you know, pretty plain white looking thing. It's got four ports on the back for your landlines and cat cables and whatnot. And, you know, and it's got your USB on the side. Other than that, there's, you know, there's really nothing special to it. So, uh, the, the special stuff here is into the software and firmware, which we're going to get into right now. Okay, the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure that your NetDuma gaming router it, firmware is up to date. Now, the newest version of the form, firmware is version 1.03.4. Oh, now, more than likely, you do not have the latest version, so I'm going to show you how to upgrade that. First, you're going to want to click come down here to upgrade in the very bottom left-hand corner, as you can see. Now, technically, you should be able to just click upgrade, and but it doesn't do it. You have to manually do it. So, what you're going to want to do is open up another tab up here. Go to netduma.com. You're going to scroll all the way down, support, upgrade. Now you're going to click, now it's going to say the latest version is available here. You click that. Now it has all the step-by-step -step instructions on what to do. All you have to do is click on this little file thing to download the file. And as you can see up here, it's going to start downloading in a second. Oh, you got to save it. I say OK, and then it saves up here. And then you just follow all these little steps. So what you're going to have to do is you're going to, what I do is I take this file, throw it on my desktop, okay? And then you want to click advanced and then you're going to browse for your file, find your file on your desktop, double click it and then click upgrade. And that's it. You're going to want to preserve all your settings and everything. Don't click this stuff. Just browse for it on your desktop, double click it and then hit upgrade. And then it just does its own thing. You let it do its thing. It'll reboot the router and then you're done. And then we can get into this over here. Okay, everybody. Now here is the NetDuma gaming router home base. Now there's a couple things I won't be able to show you just because it'll show my ISP address and stuff and I don't want to get like bombed or anything. Uh, so I, you won't be seeing that stuff. But let's go through this real quick here. This is your side menu here. Um, I'll get to the optimization part here in just a minute. And now here's your host filtering. Now, whenever you're, say, all I do is play Call of Duty. So, this is going to show everybody in the lobby that where they're at and who the uh, host uh, is or if you're on a dedicated server or not. Dedicated servers are in big white uh, circles. So um, that's how you'll know if you're on a dedicated server or not. Otherwise, it'll just be a big circle for the host and then everybody else wherever they're at. Now, I keep my range in North America only because I find when I game with people out of country that there's just way too much lag. And a NetDuma gaming router is to eliminate lag. So why have it? So I keep mine within North America. Same. Now, the distance for me because I'm in Iowa, is 2,797 kilometers. So, I mean, you can change this however you want, however big you want. Here, see, you can do all that, or you can bring it back down to... Right there. That's where I game. So, and then your ping assist. This is uh, basically... Anybody with more than a 49 millisecond ping will get rejected out of your lobby. So it'll kick people out of your lobby that do not meet your ping requirements. So they have to have, at the very highest, 49 milliseconds. 
And that's where I keep it, just under 50. Because anything 75 plus is just, it creates too much lag. So I find 49 a nice number for me. Yeah, you'll have to kind of experiment with it. And, you know, you can zoom and, you know, and this shows in kilometers. You can click that and it goes into miles. But, you know, it, it always goes back every time you go into this thing. So I just quit messing with it. Um, over here is congestion control. Now, this is um, these download caps and upload caps. This is where um, how much of your internet is being used by um, other devices while you're gaming. So I keep when you're gaming, you want it at 70%. When you're not gaming, you can turn it up, but I just leave it there because it's no big deal. Because you know, if I'm not gaming, then what the hell is using it? So, so I keep it at 70%, and I have it reactive. And this is where you set your bandwidth here. So you set your bandwidth, and it goes to this, and you your uh, your download speed, your upload speed, and whatnot. I just showed you something I probably should have. I have to edit that out. <laughs> but back in congestion control, this circle here is um, shows all your devices connected to your router, whether by uh, cat cable or by Wi-Fi. And these numbers here show how much um, of those devices it uses of the bandwidth. So I got my PS4 on 23, my TV on 13, my son's PS4 on 11, um, and then everything else is 4 and 6 and whatnot. So the host analysis is for PC games only. See, you don't. This is so if you guys use PC, you know this, this will help you. But then you got your VPN, your network monitor, device manager. And there's some of the stuff I can't show you. Just because it's going to show uh, addresses and stuff that I don't want to give out. And, you know, you can diagnose your internet and everything. And then your settings, here's all this. But now let's get into the um, optimization for your internet speeds. So you want to click on support and go to wiki. Now you're going to click on optimal settings guide. Now here you got to find where your internet speed's at. Now mine's a 100 megabyte download and 20 megabyte upload. So what you want to do is go with what's over, not under. So see how this is less than 100 and, and this is less than 120? When I was doing it for less than 100, my speeds were uh, 90 megabyte download and like, I don't know, it was like 12 or 13 upload. When I did for less than 120, I am hitting 113 megabyte download and a 26 megabyte upload. So you want to shoot for over uh, what your internet speed. Say if you had 50, you want to do less than 100. See, so that, that's how you want to do that. And then you just follow the on-screen prompts like, uh, you know, click this, and it's going to tell you to go to your congestion and control, update your bandwidth, and then all you got to do is follow all these little. Uh, it gives you a step-by-step -step guide to. Uh, optimizing it for your internet and then once you get this you go to next step and then you, this is where it tells you about the uh, congestion control and 70 keeping it on 70 percent while you're gaming then put it back up to 100 when you're not gaming and this is to set up your nat basically this here um if you're if you're on xbox and it doesn't say open that then you, you, you it, and wait hold on and it says open that then you click next step if it doesn't say open that then you have to follow these here and if you're on PlayStation, if it says Type 2, then you click this to go to the next step. Otherwise, um, come on, go back. All right. Otherwise, you have to follow this, and you're testing your NAT and stuff, which I've never had to do, because this is also if you're using two routers, if you have your NetDuma hooked up to another router. So this is another thing you will have to do. But I didn't have to do any of that, but it's very simple. All you have to do is follow the on-screen steps so since i'm on playstation it says nat type 2 then you go here then it tells you how to um select your device you know your ps4 or whatever in order to find out what your device is you might have to go open up your ps4 go into your settings find out your um your ip address for it and then you can name it and whatnot 
Um, that, that gets a little tricky, but not really. I mean, if you remotely have anything and idea of what you're doing, you'll be fine. And if you have a NetDuma gaming router, you should kind of know what you're doing a little bit. So, and then you just follow all these steps here, and then that's it. Okay, okay, hold on. Then you then you fine tuning. Uh, find the game below that you do most. See, public match, private match, Call of Duty. You want to click on public match. So you want to set your home location to the correct place. Uh, you want to um, set your geo filter. I know I've done all this stuff. So, see, this is where it says 50 millisecond ping. That's why I got it under 49. And then auto ping host is enabled, and strict mode is also enabled. So, if you ever have problems, you can disable the strict mode. But I don't have any problems with it. So, after that, you're done. So that is how you optimize your NetDuma gaming router. So, other than that, I hope you guys found this useful. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, that like button, dislike button. But as always, show me some love, show me some hate, but show me something. Other way, I'll see you on the flip side. Peace out and happy gaming, people.